Bright A's. Bright eyes. <coughs> Why to say A's? Bright eyes. The first day of my life. This is a a lesson per request of Mason Strawn Cider. Apple cider. Okay. Capo. Fret four. Okay, and let's do this. Don't smoke. You don't drink, don't smoke. What do you do? Okay, this lesson is starting. C major. Well, let me, let me play it. Here's what you're going to do. He's using his uh, fingers and thumb. No pick. Okay? Don't go. Okay, ready? It's a good little uh, acoustic strummer here, man. You're gonna start with a C major chord. Go now. Keep in mind, capo means that that is fret zero. It's an open, so that fifth fret is technically fret one. Uh, go three A, two D, one B, and you're gonna go kind of with your fingers and thumb. It's not a critical thing. Just strum this sucker, okay? Down, down. This would be down, down. Down, up. I'm muting the low E with the tip of my third finger. If that rings, it won't sound bad because there's an E and a C chord. Down, down, up, up. So down, down, up, down, up. Come here, Terry. Come here, kitty, kitty. Alright, don't spray though. Okay, dude? E major is next. 2A, 2D, and 1G. Same strum. Down, down, up, down, up. You can hit all six strings on that. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Damn it. What's Brian in my damn studio? Idiot. Okay, I'm back. A lot of distractions in this one. And then A minor, um, all you do is drop this E major down a string each. 2D, two 2G, two one B. Um, if, uh, if possible, mute the uh, low E with your thumb. If not, there's an E in the A minor chord. Two times through on the strum. This next one is F major 7, that's 1B, 2G, 3D, and mute that A with the tip of your third finger, and the low E with your thumb. If you can't, just be careful on them strings, okay? Down, down, drop the pinky to 3E, and go up, down, up. Okay, from there you're going to go to G major, the way he's doing it, and it makes sense, is just, he uh, gets rid of the index and goes third finger 3E, middle finger 2A, and you keep the pinky on 3E. It makes sense because you're almost there anyways. Same strum. And then back to C major two times. Technically three, but that's the end of the chord progression. Then you start it all over. Okay, so in essence that C major strum progression winds up being three times. So here's the second time. Okay, now here's, there's a change up on the third one. Start it over, C major, E major, A minor, twice. Then he switches to D7. Your first finger's in place where it needs to be, 1B. Go 2G and 2E. Thumb, mute the low E. And that way you can hit them all. Same strum, one time. No, two times. And then G major, two times. Another thing, that's, that's pretty much the lesson there, that's most of the guitar chords. Um, if you're not sure how clear all your chords are going to sound, it's always a good idea to individually pick the strings of the chord. So for example, the C major, you can go and just run through each chord like that. Same thing with So 
anyways, good strummer song, man. Good chord song, open position chords here. So um, have fun with it. If you have questions, definitely ask me. Make sure you subscribe to both my channels. I have more than two, but two channels that are strictly for teaching. And that's youtube.com slash rocking guitar lessons one and rocking guitar lessons two. <clears throat> so <clears throat> subscribe to both. Get involved, ask questions, we're all in this to become better players, sign me up, because me too, we can always get better as a musician. Stay open-minded with music, don't put yourself in a box, man, and don't just be the flavor of the week player, be a player that can sponge off of everything, and um, that's probably the best advice I can give you. I have tons of advice, but you know, that's at the top of the list. Um, if you don't mind, spread the word, tell your buddies about me. People in cover bands that want songs figured out, I'll transcribe piano parts, saxophone, flute, clarinet, I don't care, kazoo, harmonica, anything that has a tone or a pitch to it can be put onto another instrument. So um, I don't mind doing that for you guys. Um, what else? My email, if you'd like to email me, rockingguitarlessons at hotmail.com. Um, I do have a website coming, and that's rockingguitarlessons.com. Be watching for that. $25 a month to join. It's going to be a very cool, cool website, user-friendly, um, and it'll be decked out for you guys. promise. Um, I also teach uh, via webcam, and that's through Skype and Google Hangout. All you need is a webcam. Go download skype.com. You probably already have it. And uh, send a request to Rockin' Guitar Lessons. That's me. And uh, it's $50 an hour or $25 for a half an hour. We can work on any and everything that you want to work on and help shape you into being a better guitar player. Um, this is what I've done since 1992 is teach this internet journey I started about a year ago. Um, and as far as Skype, it's probably been about four or five months. And it's going great. Everyone's learning. We're all getting better together. Um, and I can help you definitely get to the next level when you're playing. It's a good idea to get a set day, set time. Um, pretty much everyone's doing an hour lesson, but you make the call. If, it, if that doesn't fit your budget, do a half hour. Um, whatever fits. Um, send a request to Rockin' Guitar Lessons. That's my Skype contact name. Uh, leave me a few sentences as far as, you know, what your goals are and how long you've been playing and what you'd like to achieve. If you don't know, I'll know. Um, at our first lesson, just play a little bit for me and I'll, I'll be able to take you from wherever you're at, get you from point A to B, eventually Z, and then infinity from there, because we can always get better as players. Um, TBXPunk at AOL.com, that's my PayPal email, that's the email that's used for uh, payment for Skype lessons, as well as donations if you feel like you'd like to donate to this channel, that's the email you would use. Thank you guys, I appreciate you, and I'm loving this journey, we're all getting better together. And that's what it's about. So uh, make sure you subscribe and then start sending requests. We'll talk to you later. I'm Mike Gross, Rocking Guitar Lessons. See you later.